Good morning. I feel like I haven't really been in this setup for a while to make coffee, but I'm making a coffee right now. I went to Walmart last night and I got some milk and creamer. And I also ordered noon espresso pods online yesterday, but I do have a couple left. So I think I was gonna do like a regular cold brew, but I think I'm just gonna do an iced latte. I think I'm gonna do a caramel iced latte specifically because I also got these little syrups last night from Walmart, which I'm so excited to try. I've got the caramel and the white chocolate. And what I saw on TikTok is this girl put caramel actually in a little shot cup and then she brewed her shot over the caramel, mixed it together and then poured it in. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I also have vanilla up here that I'm gonna put in there as well, just for like a little extra flavor. So let me get my little glass. And I am so excited for this right now because she just made it look so good. Let me take this off. This is just like a regular glass. I really want to buy a little shot glass, but I'm going to put some caramel in the bottom. I don't know how much to do. I'll just do like that much, not too much. So I have my caramel and then my pot. And I'm going to breathe out. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. So the shot is done with the caramel in there and I think I might have put a little bit too much caramel. So I'm probably not going to add any like vanilla or any other sweetener to this. I'm just going to keep it that probably. So next step is the ice. You saw my last vlog. I bought this new little ice situation from Amazon and it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. But I want to make it look cute and pretty. I've never done this before, actually. But I want to do like a little caramel drizzle on the side of the cup. Just so it's aesthetic. Because that is what it's all about. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my milk. This is a latte. That's why I'm doing milk as like the base, you know. Some people are like, you have so much... Milk, that's all milk and no coffee, but it's a latte, so it's like mainly milk anyway. Wow, I put a lot of caramel in this, it's okay. It's okay, we'll make it work. Just mix the shot with the caramel. This smells so good. And this is the coffee. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. That is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna mix it all up. These little ice balls. Like, is that not the cutest thing? I'm obsessed with the little ice balls. Y'all, this looks fire. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. That's amazing. I just really did something with this. All right, so if you want to spruce up your coffees in the morning, go to Walmart, get this stuff. I haven't tried this one yet, but this is the bomb. And I thought it was going to be like really hard to find, but Walmart really does have everything. So yeah, but I'm going to clean all this up. Cheers and have a good morning. I'm emo right now. I'm outside drinking my coffee and just like listening to nature. <laughs> and I'm feeling so blessed. Like, so blessed. I just can't believe that this is my life right now. Like, I have my own house and I'm just outside leisurely doing my thing. But I wanted to read this little passage of scripture because this is such a good passage 
It's from the book of John. It's John 8. It's about this woman who was accused of adultery, committing adultery. And these men were condemning her and they brought her before Jesus. And Jesus didn't condemn her at all. And he basically just said, I don't condemn you. Go live a life free of sin. And it just like almost makes me want to cry. So I'm just going to read it. It's John 8. Um, just like a little tiny snippet from John 8. Um, it says, They all went home, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At dawn, he appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered around him, and he sat down to teach them. <clears throat> the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law... Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? <clears throat> they were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. <clears throat> um, but just like think about what this woman must have been feeling. Like so much shame. All these men are bringing her before Jesus and the teachers of the law. She's probably like so embarrassed. But anyway, um, it says, but Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. And it never really says what he was writing, but I'm sure, like, I don't know what he was writing, but I'm sure he was writing something, like, epic. Um, and then it says, when they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. So I just thought that was really good. I love that because I feel like sometimes we, we do things, we sin, and we're very ashamed we feel a lot of guilt i know i do at least and it just reminds me like jesus is not condemning me he wants me to leave my life of sin and he's gonna love me he's not gonna accuse me and point the finger and i just love that i just love it um so yeah i'm just sitting here being emo this morning also I'm going to ride the boat today with my family. I'm supposed to be at my mom's at 10. We're going to leave at like 11 to go ride the boat, which is honestly kind of late because we're going to have to drive two hours to go to the place we're going to put in. But um, the only reason we're leaving so late is because my mom had a couple calls this morning that she had to do. So we're having to leave a little later. So I'm probably going to go get a couple like snacks and chips and stuff that we can eat on the boat and like pack some stuff up and then head to her house. I'm gonna change, like pack my bag for the boat and everything. And then I'm going to ride the boat for the rest of the day, literally all day. I pro we probably won't even get back home till like maybe eight o'clock tonight because I'm sure we're gonna go eat and stuff after and then we're gonna have to drive back. But yeah, fit check. Sweats are brandy. <laughs> Y'all literally do not care what I'm wearing right now, but it's really comfy and I wear this outfit all the time. So it's a brandy Birkenstock dupes, which I shared in my last um, Video and come to think of it. I don't think I linked them, but I will link them in this video and then this little thing is from Old Navy <laughs> I bought this bag of cherries the other day and I have this little bit and these left and I'm gonna wash them, put them in this little container and take them on the boat. I love cherries in the summertime. I also changed my outfit and like put on a bathing suit and everything, which I will show y'all. I also found this little Emma Chamberlain like coffee on the go 
situation from Walmart last night and I really want to try it. Today's not the day obviously because I've already had coffee but I may try this on my TikTok or maybe in another vlog because I really want to drink this when I'm like actually on the go and not when I have time to make a coffee so I thought that was interesting. I'm really excited to try it. Look at Bentley. <laughs> Bent, what are you doing? Are you sitting in the shade? I could start this vlog off by doing a little get ready with me situation and walk you through what I've been using even though I use the same stuff all the time this is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter this is in the shade medium number four and I just put like a little tiny bit I used to think that this stuff was um, a foundation like when I first got it I was like is this a foundation but it's actually not apparently it goes underneath foundation for like a glow and it really does give your skin like a really pretty natural glow but I'm not gonna be putting on like actual foundation I'm just gonna put on this just to give myself a little bit of like life and dewiness and I do not ever put it on my forehead because I feel like my forehead's naturally kind of dewy not dewy oily <laughs> is naturally oily so i just put on a little bit of this i don't like too much stuff on my like face like as far as like foundation type of stuff so anyway i am getting ready for my little cousin's graduation right now high school graduation next thing i'm going to use is this milk makeup bronzer stick and lately I've been putting this on my hand instead of directly on my face. Okay, so I'll just like tap it into the sponge. And also the order and method that I use to do my makeup is definitely wrong. But I don't really care. I try to keep it really light usually on my face. I feel prettier that way. I've tried to do like heavier makeup with like foundation and more like full coverage products like the shape tape i've tried that before and honestly how i'm doing my makeup right now will probably change but i actually really like how it's been turning out because i feel like it looks natural bringing out my natural beauty rather than like covering it up which is kind of how I was doing in the past so i guess it's just about like finding what works for you but anyway the reason i put it on the back of my hand instead of directly on my face is because i saw on tiktok obviously also follow me on tiktok i always do little like makeup videos and outfit videos and different stuff on there but i saw that if you put the contour stick directly on your skin then it kind of like hardens if you don't blend it immediately hardens is that the right word dries it dries <laughs> so and it makes like more of a harsh line and i do feel like this looks definitely more blended and less harsh if it's just like applied on the back of your thing and then just dipped i don't want to be too heavy at this high school graduation but i have been at work all day and i need some serious help i got home and showered and I feel like I'm kind of in a rush. It's 316 currently. And my mom told me to be at her house so that we could pick up my grandma at 345. So I have 30 minutes to get ready and be there, which I think I'll actually be good on time, honestly. So anyway, same method for the blush. I do the milk makeup lip and cheek i believe this is the shade quickie i love this shade it's like a really deep purple it's really pretty and then this shade is the shade work w-e-r-k so i just have been mixing the two like that 
and then I will apply that with the beauty blender as well and usually I'll have to put a little bit more on the back of my hand because I do like a lot of blush so I think I am gonna put some more because this beauty blender really like takes it all up do, 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 do. Oh shoot, I usually do my concealer before the blush and I forgot. I don't really know what I'm thinking right now because my under eye bags really desperately need some concealer. So anyway, blush looks pretty good. I need a bronzer. What the heck am I thinking? I'm stressed. I don't know what I'm thinking. Anyway, back to bronzer. Usually I would do blush last, like absolutely last. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Anyway, putting on a little bit of bronzer. This is the same bronzer that I always use, the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Just basically everywhere that I put the contour stick. And I guess I'll have to go back in with a little bit more blush. I guess I'm left my choice. And I'll take this down my neck because I want to make sure I am bronzed all the way down. I still don't know what I'm wearing. I'll probably just wear like a little dress that I usually wear to church or something because I can't even like be bothered to think about it. I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer, just a little tiny bit, and put it in my eyeshadow or as my eyeshadow. Um, I used to do this like super heavy and intense, like a lot of bronzer as my eyeshadow, but... I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna do a little bit and blend it all out. I don't know what that is. Like it looks like something's not blended, but it's actually been there for a while. Do y'all see my under eye bags right now? Like what? What's going on? Next is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm absolutely obsessed with this stuff. And the shade is light to vanilla. Y'all are probably like, girl, we've seen your makeup a million times. Because it doesn't change. This stuff is honestly my OG holy grail though. Because I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape, as I was saying. And I do like that for a full coverage look. But I feel like when I do full coverage on myself, at least, it just doesn't look as good. I'm not sure why. I always like to start blending this with my finger for some reason and then I'll go back and blend it in with the beauty blender just so it's good and blended um yeah not sure why I did this so out of order for myself but I'll blend it in with the beauty blender I need like a home remedy or something for my under eyes because I feel like they are just like very much baggy and dark and I don't know. So that's that. I am going to add a little bit more blush. I'm probably going to do like this deep purple one to make sure it's really blushed up. Okay, right, actually false alarm. Before I do blush, I'm going to set this with my powder. And the powder that I use is my absolute favorite. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And just look at this like situation and now look at it. I feel like it just blends everything so well. Like it almost looks like I have a filter on and then I put a little bit in my T-zone area. Like it honestly does make you look very much airbrushed. So there's that and now back in with some blush before I do my eyes. So y'all know in my last vlog how I was asking you guys about my plant situation because I have killed all of my plants. Well, I bit the bullet and looked up a YouTube video on how to take care of these specific plants that I bought, which I should have done to begin with instead of killing them. But I didn't and I learned my lesson. So anyway, I figured out that they needed full sun and they only needed to be watered like very rarely. And I was watering them every day and had them in the shade. So that's that. This is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. And I always use this shade, the darkest purple. It's called Risky Biz. And I'll just 
go with this little angled brush and I'll put it right next to my waterline and then I'll do like a little tiny wing. Sometimes I'll do a bigger one, but tonight I'm just gonna do a tiny one and like the smallest little line. And I feel like this accents your lashes so nicely. It makes them look so like big and voluminous, um, like at the root or whatever. Okay, that's what that's looking like. So it gives me a little something. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Okay, mascara is done. And now I'm gonna gel up my brows using this Milk Makeup Clear Brow Gel. I also never used to do this, but I have been enjoying doing it. I think I need a new one though because it is kind of out and it's running low. I kind of want to get like a different brand though maybe because this brush is really small and I think a different brand would be nice to try out. Okay, last couple steps for the makeup. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand and it's a blush, but it's also got like a really pretty um highlighter in it and so i use this as mainly like a highlighter and i'll kind of do it like right there you see that how pretty and obviously it's a blush so it's really nice i'm obsessed with it i do like to have like a blush underneath it though because i don't think it's as pigmented pigmented <laughs> as i want it to be and then i'll use like the rest of it on my nose i always feel like a fairy when i have the highlighter on Okay, last step is lips. And I overline just slightly on the bottom. I'll overline like right here in the middle. And then I'll follow. I am actually using this lip liner by Believe Beauty. And it's in the shade Barely There. I got this from Dollar General. And I really love it. It does the job. It stays on forever. And if I told you I was using a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, like you would never know. So I feel like lip liner is one of those things that's like probably not that big of a deal to spend a lot of money on. And I've had the Charlotte Tilbury liners, which are very nice, but this is like a dollar and it gets the job done. <laughs> okay, this is the finished makeup. Very pretty. And I still feel like very natural, like there's not too much on my face. So, this is the makeup, and let's go put on an outfit. So, that is all for this vlog. I never ended up showing my outfit or anything because I just wore, like, a dress that I've shown a million times and that I wear all the time. So, I didn't feel like it was worth showing. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, let me know what else y'all want to see. And I love you. Bye!